All right, so we're gonna make something really simple now. Awesome. And um, I, I chose this recipe. Mm -hmm. they're, they're quinoa, and we call them quinoa and flour fritters. And I chose the recipe because mm -hmm. quinoa, as you know, is uh, a very wholesome grain. It's okay. very high in protein. It has no gluten, not that you necessarily, yeah, I know mm -hmm. you don't have celiac disease or anything, but you know, you wanna minimize, mm -hmm. um, you want to incorporate more variety wherever you can. So quinoa is mm -hmm. one of the most popular foods right now. It's Great. very simple to make. Okay. You can find it anywhere. You just rinse it, rinse it, rinse it before you cook it, and then mm -hmm. you put it up in water and you let it simmer. That's okay. it. 15 minutes later, it's done. And if you make it plain, mm -hmm. like I did, um, okay. then you can season it however you want afterwards and use it however you want to use it. So, okay. Um, so we start with some cooked quinoa, okay. and th that's uh, what I've done here. I pre-cooked it to make it a little bit faster for us. Okay. And into a bowl it goes with a little bit of rice flour, oh. just to get it to stick together. And okay. this is a, just a grocery store plain rice flour, Japanese rice flour. And then I'm going to add a little bit of egg substitute. Now this is just egg white mm -hmm. in a carton, but you can crack an egg and beat it and oh, add it okay. in. Mm -hmm. So. You can see the what you're aiming for is a fairly oh, wet consistency, but we're going to bind it even further with a little bit of cheese. Okay. Okay. And this is low-fat mozzarella cheese, just plain mozzarella. Oops, a little bit more than you need. But <laughs> then you go a little bit less with the other cheese, okay. which is a little bit of Parmesan. And finally, our fiber, not only from the quinoa, mm -hmm. but from cauliflower. Oh, okay. So this adds some well, vegetable nice into this. Yeah, and you know, cauliflower is just steamed cauliflower chopped up. So very simple. A little bit of salt and sugar-free seasoning to okay. give it some flavor. And this is one of our salt and sugar-free seasoning blends. This is our Mediterranean blend, but you could use basil or whatever your favorite uh, sugar-free blends are. Okay. Whatever you like the best. And um, one thing you don't want to do is add in any salt because, you know, the uh, cheese has a lot of salt in it to begin so with. So you don't want to so put any more. So you don't need any more salt. And remember we talked about... I noticed yeah. when traveling, even minimal amounts of salt, boy, I start feeling it, definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And um, so Stir it up. We're, we're stirring it up here. And then I'm going to have you spray the skillet lightly with a little bit okay. of extra virgin olive oil spray. Nobody's going to believe I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> a little closer. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There we go. All right. Okay. And now, and we have a lot of mixture here, far more than we're going to make, but you see, mm -hmm. we need to get something in there before we burn the bottom of that skillet. So grab a spoon. Okay. And follow me. Okay. You can, you can make them as big as you want to make them. They can be little, they can be medium. Um, my thought was that you would be eating these sort of in the car. Yes, I eat and I, it's a bad habit, but with the amount of driving I do, eating and driving is very efficient. So yes. these, these, <laughs> these do look perfect for nibbling while I'm driving. Okay, yep. so we're gonna like form them into little, okay. there you go, see. Who said you couldn't I'm cook? cooking. Hey, Look Mom, at that. I'm cooking. <laughs> She'd never believe it. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll flatten them flatten down, down a little bit okay. so that we make like mm -hmm. a nice little, you know, and, and obviously if you were making these at home, you could use a scoop, like an mm -hmm. ice cream scoop or something to get nice uniform sizes and things like that. But you mm -hmm. can tell it's, it's yeah. not that fancy. And this is perfect because, you know, it, even with the natural, it, it is really hard to buy healthy snacks sometimes. Yeah, right. You know, that's what's, um, so this is perfect. And this is probably not the ideal cooking implement because what I really want is the spatula to, but, flip. Mm -hmm. to flip it. But you kind of get the drift, yep. right? Mm -hmm. So they cook pretty quickly because essentially all we're doing is cooking the egg that bound it together oh, because okay. the quinoa is already cooked. The cheese doesn't require cooking. So we just want to cook it till the egg allows uh, it to set up mm -hmm. and bind it together. And they get nice and toasty. Okay. And then um, the challenge is going to be, of course, to flip it. To flip <laughs> it, yeah. But um, it's not quite there yet. So one um, 
suggestion that I have for this recipe is to make a big batch of them and freeze them because they really freeze beautifully. Oh. And if what you want is something that you have handy that you can just grab and go, mm -hmm. this is truly grab and go food. Oh, they're not perfect. greasy, mm -hmm. so they're great for the car because the other thing about them is they're balanced. You know, you have protein, right. you have fiber, you have carbohydrate, mm -hmm. you have a little bit of healthy fat, so it's really an ideal meal. And I love that the cauliflower's in there because, you know, you got you, you you to get, you get your vegetable in there. In the, you know, and which is the one I always struggle with. I is can that? Do, I can do, oh, getting the vegetables. I'm, I'm from Boston, Irish. We don't yeah. eat vegetables. No? <laughs> <laughs> Potatoes are sort of like cauliflower. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I think we are oh, about yeah. ready to mm -hmm. attempt the flip. Okay. Oops. Oops. Well, no, that one failed. You want to give it a try? Oh, God. Well, if you're having trouble, but yeah, I'm, I'm willing. All right. All right. Go for I it. i got to learn to do this because this looks like the perfect snack for... Well, trust me, if, if you have a flat spatula, it probably works perfectly. Okay. There we go. You can. Yay. See? <laughs> you know, it's not bad. Not, <laughs> not bad. bad. Not bad. There we go. One or two more, and then mm -hmm. um, maybe you'll want a sample. What do you think? I think so. Boy. All right. Great. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm not going to be able to flip that. I'll give it to you. All right. You know what? I'm What I'm going to do is mm -hmm. I'm just going to turn this guy off. Okay. And the good news is are. that there's some. Look, look at that. Aren't wow. they perfect? <laughs> anyway, give it a try. Tell me what you think. Mm. That's a perfect snack. Now, could you eat that yes. on the road? That should be perfect. Mm -hmm. the, the nice thing about that is that it can go through uh, customs, too. It can mm -hmm. go through security. They're not going to take it away from you. So while ideally you'd want to eat mm -hmm. whatever you brought. Well, this is perfect airplane food, too, because like you said, you, you have to, comp, you know, a lot gets confiscated. So Right. And airports are traps. I mean, you get in there and, of course, you want the junky food when yeah. you're in there. So yeah, com coming true. armed with these would be perfect. All right. Mm. Great. Well, Beth, I know that mm -hmm. everybody is going to want to follow you. They're going to want to keep up with what mm -hmm. you do. Um, what's the best way for people to reach you? You know, um, I'd say the two ways. Facebook, Beth Pratt One. The, the number one, and I post great photos of wildlife as I travel that around. That is true. You yeah. definitely do. I want to see mountain lions. My Twitter Twitter handle is Beth Pratt, or uh, NWF California is also a Facebook page that uh, again is uh, is a lot of adventures and wildlife photos. So, great. and also we'll be posting on how I do with my goal weight. So come yeah, and tune in, and mm -hmm. we can find that on. I'll, I'll be posting that on my Facebook page great. and uh, in the NWF California Facebook page as well. Wonderful. So, mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much thank for coming. Thank you, Jackie. It was it's great. always wonderful to see you. Yeah, <laughs> and I wish you good mm -hmm. luck. I know you're already losing some weight. Yes, right? I'm down eight pounds, and, uh, and uh, yeah, it's it's it. I feel great. So. It's, it feels, and I can't thank you enough because your coaching and your food has been instrumental in that. Well, so, you're, thank you're you. most welcome. So you're helping wildlife by helping me. All right. <laughs> All right. For more Food Exposed, check me out on empowerme.tv. And until next week, remember, make food your best friend and exercise your companion for life.